and our next guest is the secret weapon behind some of Hollywood's most gorgeous and glamorous red carpet faces. We are talking about professional makeup artist Ashley, Ashley Glazer. Yeah, she's going to show you how to get that flawless, fabulous skin with just a couple of tips and tricks that are going to turn the beat around. That the pros use. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes. <laughs> All right. So smudgy eyeliner yeah, is so an issue at times. It happens to the best of us and sometimes smears, we can't right? just get, yeah, yeah, sometimes it smears, sometimes you just can't get that perfect uh -huh. cat eye. So I like to use an eye cream. I look for a gel formula because it doesn't leave a greasy residue on the skin okay. and it's gentle and get the dual sided Q-tips, especially the, ones with, with the, the point. Edge, yeah. yeah, so you can just quickly uh -huh. wipe it away and then you get that even hard edge and it's safe for the eye area. Okay, you that's can even pretty it simple. Out. Yeah. Looking good. Simple. Simple, easy, and we all have that at home. Is today the last day of your internship? <laughs> no, Friday. Friday. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll one more week. We are going to miss you. All right, okay. so moving on to lips. Okay, so for lips, to make it more long-wearing, so besides just using a regular long-wearing lipstick, I like to take a powder or a blush, eyeshadow or blush, in the oh. same color family. So we've seen that with translucent powder, but it's fun to do it with a similar color. So we've done red, now we're on <laughs> on pink, and it just sort of makes the density of the pigment a little bit deeper. I'm sorry, oh. I'm confused. You put that on first and then so, the lipstick? No, so she already had a little bit of the lipstick on Leave before because it's sort of faded yeah. from earlier. Add and the then powder. you'll put a little powder of eyeshadow. Make it or stay blush, a it helps it to stay a little bit longer, and then you do another coat oh, of your lipstick. That's so kind of smart. like an alternative to the translucent powder trick. Okay. Yeah. But the eyeshadow adds a little bit more of color. That color. Gives you staying power. Yeah. yeah. Very smart. pretty. Very smart. All right. What if sadly we have a blemish? <laughs> oh. All right. Do you have oh, otherwise known as a zit? <laughs> Did you make that one? You didn't really have it. No, I didn't. No. Didn't? <laughs> okay. It happens. It does happen. So when you want to cover your blemish, I like to leave it to the last part of your makeup. So you do everything first, so that way you're not um, rubbing bacteria everywhere or disrupting oh. the blemish if it's a fresh one. So I look, use a smaller brush and a wax-based concealer because it's a little bit stickier and tackier for coverage. Now, do you go lighter than your skin or a little darker? I go the same color as the skin and same look color. for something with more of an olive undertone to beat the redness. Okay. okay. And then you're going to set it after you use pat, the concealer pat, pat. with a powder foundation. So instead of using a regular powder, look for a powder foundation because it gives more coverage and mm -hmm. then it'll be more long-wearing as well. You put that that foundation all over yeah, when you're done you or just it all on? over but it's, it's, sometimes it stands really, out more when the you start hardest part is on. to stop thinking about it you know because <laughs> you know it's there and you think that everybody yes. else sees yeah, it and they're going, turning your oh, head yeah, yeah. but they, most people don't most you know, people don't notice it and if it's high up on your forehead you can, you can today we part your hair on that side your eye, yeah. for tv <laughs> but in real life you do it on the other side what if we want that j-lo glow can we get it yes of course so i love illuminator and i love a bright complexion so midday just a trick you can take um, equal parts of your liquid concealer okay. and then your illuminator oh, and nice. you sort of mix them together this mm -hmm. is like something you can quickly do in the car right before you leave work to help to brighten up the skin where do you put it so you put it in the center Ooh. In the center of the right face, kind of the nose. hot spots under the eyes, around the nose, wherever you instantly want to brighten, just to give you that really fresh it look. Does, like yes. if you didn't have time to wash your face before work and then dinner, it's like a really quick thing that you can do. That's so smart, right in the car. Yeah. It's something I do J -Lo every day. Glow, Fantastic. <laughs> and let's go to the end. All yes. right. <laughs> What's in here? Okay, so this is just your essential makeup bag. Things that I always like to keep. I love to keep a setting spray. You can use it to refresh your face throughout the day. And I love to have a little Vaseline. <gasps> Especially the babies because they're cute. Baby one. Yeah, the rose ones are cute. Wait a minute. And what's is this tinted? Yeah, it's tinted. Oh what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's great because you can use it kind of, you can use it as a cheek tint, eyes, lips, brow gel, hair slick. And then if you have so um, a lip liner or something where you lose the caps, you can always sort of rub it on your hand, take a dab of your Vaseline, and then Push you kind of can create another can. lipstick or even like a cheek tint. So it's really quick and on the go. Smart. Really, really good. good stuff, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.